All right, I'm back up live here, you guys. I just wanted to let you know that the person that's in custody of the police is still in the back of the cruiser. Um, I don't know if you can see him from where you're at. Um, there is one police officer there. There was a sergeant that came over and spoke to him through the window. Um, so it was about 15 minutes ago when they arrested him. They still have him in the back of the vehicle. What's your name, man? My name is Tadri Doug Baylon. I'm Tadri being arrested for So, uh, see, they won't let me talk to him. But, uh, he didn't do it. See, as you can see, they've got him wrapped up really tight. Look at all that stuff. And this is the this is the officer that went and talked to me here. Badge number 171. I got you, dog. So when we replay this, you're gonna have to pull his name out of that. Whatever he said, it was Tyler. I think he said something. Um, we'll see if uh, Cindy Lewis. To be honest with you, they wouldn't tell me why he's being arrested. Uh, he was screaming out in pain right over here a few minutes ago when they were arresting him. They drove off and they came back. It's been probably 10 minutes since they drove off with him in the back of the vehicle and he is once again still sitting in the back of the vehicle so they can do some sort of paperwork here at the Wanna Creek BART police substation. Like I said, it was about 15 minutes ago when I came walking right where I'm at now because I got here and I heard a man crying out in pain, help me, help me. There are police officers right over here arresting him. They wouldn't tell me what he was being arrested for. Most of these people around here are looking at me kind of weird, like, what are you doing with a camera? What are you filming? And who cares what the police are doing if they've arrested somebody? Uh, I care, I want to know what he's being arrested for. I could walk up here and see if they'll tell me in the BART police station here what he was being arrested for, but I doubt it. Let's give it a shot and see if we can get any answers here. We'll see if uh, we get any answers on that. Um, give me just a minute here. I know I saw a police officer go in here a few minutes ago, but it doesn't look like they're going to want to uh, talk to me. They know I'm here. I know they know I'm here. Funny thing is, is cops are like that. They'll talk to you when uh, they want to get information from you, but if you want to get information from them, they're no, they're, they're no better than politicians, really. Um... And since I've got you guys live here real quick, I might as well give you a quick update. Now, uh, as you may remember, I was heavily involved with the Occupy movement down in San Francisco for uh, about seven months Seven months uh, there at the camp. And then over the last few months, uh, I had to find ways to, to make ends meet, to pay the child support and stuff. My unemployment had run out. I got a job as a dishwasher. Well, today I was just let go. They said that they were cutting back, uh, you know, and got to make money and stuff, and this is a slow time of year. As far as I'm concerned, that's bullshit. Uh, there was a guy that quit earlier this week. And another thing, the entire kitchen where I worked, uh, you know, they did say that they would give me a good reference. I'm obviously a good worker, but uh, the entire kitchen is, is Latino. Now, I have no problem with Mexicans or any other nationality. What I have a problem with is when I'm in my own country and I can't even communicate with guys that I'm working with, not that it really matters that much washing dishes, but it's really sad that I'd say about 80% of the crew in the kitchen spoke very little English. And to me, that's very discouraging to show that, that a high class diner will only hire uh, Latinos to work in the kitchen. Now, like I said, I have no problem with uh, any race. And uh, I really have uh, 
an affinity for mexicans because i have a family member that is mexican so as far as i'm concerned you can put race out of it what the problem is is the owners they're willing to hire these people and hire them at a lower wage which you know for me to make nine bucks an hour that's a joke i'm forty years old child support bills uh... cell phone bill streaming bill uh... at nine bucks an hour in the san francisco bay area you cannot live there is no way so i'm going back to living on the street uh... not that i wasn't already living on the street but it's just going to be that much worse so uh... i want to thank everybody for tuning in and that's my sob story for today plan to be in washington dc on the twentieth for the inauguration and i'm going to be looking for donations to help get me there so if you want to go to the independent citizen media dot weebly dot com website that's my website uh... there's a no donation uh link on there you can check it out there's all kinds of information there if you have anything you want to say feel free to drop it in the forum send me an email uh... you can even get a hold of me on twitter uh, i got some things i gotta take care of and i want to thank you for tuning in once again peace occupy wind liberty signing out from the walnut creek park station where a black man was recently abducted by the bar police